Good afternoon. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah? Okay. This is, I think, the first time I've ever uh, given a speech wearing sunglasses, so I feel like I need to apologize or something. So I do have a few prepared remarks on behalf of Mayor Biskupski, who apologizes for not being able to be here today. Now, I'm thinking about this today, I tried to decide whether I'm a believer in karma or not. I haven't come to a firm decision on that. But if I am a believer in karma, then it, it, it kind of feels good. You can't hear me. Uh, kind of. Okay. I'll speak. I'll try and speak up. <clears throat> I was saying earlier today to some folks while waiting for this to start, the first, I like to say, 25 years of my life before I got too old to be on the soccer field was all about soccer and school. And so it's a real honor to be here. And growing up as a young, young boy in Minnesota, where I grew up, being on a club team, I spent a lot of time at complexes like this. Uh, and a lot of uh, really, me a lot of great memories for me. So I, if I believe in karma, then I guess I was supposed to be here. We wanna welcome you to the Salt Lake Region's Athletic Complex. On behalf of Mayor Biskupski, I'm David Litvak, the Mayor's Deputy Chief of Staff. It's a great day to celebrate the opening season of this phenomenal facility. It's been a long wait, but today we can finally say we have a top flight collection of 16 multi-purpose playing fields ready for the playing season, which will support local athletic team play as well as regional and national competitions. This complex matters to Salt Lake City for so many reasons. Salt Lake City shows up over and over again in surveys as one of the most active and physically fit cities in the country. Our love for team sports really demanded this facility be built. Soccer, rugby, lacrosse, ultimate frisbee, all of these sports have taken hold here and only growing more popular every year. A great reason this, compl this complex matters so much to Salt Lake City is for building our economy. <clears throat> we simply can got, not get enough of youth sports teams. And here's one reason. Kids. Lots of kids. More than one-third of Utah's population is under the age of 18. And Salt Lake City mirrors that statewide statistic. And kids who play sports need room to play. The average family with children in sports programs spends more than $300 a month on team fees, equipment, facilities, all of it. And families will continue to help support this complex with their tax dollars. This great facility will help drive our local economy. Mayor Biskupski is laser focused on growing Salt Lake's economy in every way possible. And that includes through sports and recreation dollars. In preparing for today, I found a fascinating study. Traverse City, Michigan, with a population of just 15,000, studied the overall impact to its economy of hosting two lacrosse tournaments in 2012. Over the two weekends of the tournaments, 3,400 people came from out of town. Each athlete brought an average of two to three family members along, adding up, to what, adding up what visitors spent their money on those weekends at hotels, restaurants, buying gasoline, shopping at malls, going to movies, touring other places in town. All of this generated more than $3.4 million for Traverse City two tournaments. Any way you look at it, keeping a focus on recreation and especially youth athletics will be a win for Salt Lake City. There are so many thanks that can go around and one of the worst things that you can do when you begin to give thank yous is try to name individuals. So I will avoid that mistake because you always leave someone out but those individuals that are here know what critical role they played. I'd like to give thanks to our city's public service department, the parks and public lands program, to the previous mayors, current city council and previous city councils for seeing this project through from start to finish. Providing facilities like this one that adds so much to our quality of life 
is a key responsibility of Salt Lake City government. This complex is just one more jewel among the nearly 100 parks we already enjoy in the city, many of which have public playing fields available to everyone. Parks lush with trees, gardens, water features, and open space nourish our bodies, our psyches, our air, and our environment. You have Mayor Biskupsi's commitment that under her watch, the work and the work of our conscientious employees who maintain these great spaces, we will continue to enjoy parks and green space in Salt Lake City. Thank you again for being out here today to kick off this great season. Thank you. So it should be me who's welcoming everybody to District 1. Welcome to Salt Lake City and the greatest district in Salt Lake City. Uh, I'm grateful to be here, but I'd love to take the credit, but I can't. I have to give the credit to past administrations, past uh, employees with public services, especially Rick Graham. I don't know if Rick is here right now. Uh, he took a huge role in this, as well as Carlton Christensen. Uh, but when I think about this complex here, I think about carrying a torch. I think about mentors, which are coaches, as well as captains of teams, carrying torches and, and, and uniting a team to do something that they're trying to do, which is win. Uh, and here in District 1, I'm proud to say that you, this is the recreation of Salt Lake City is in District 1. You can come up here to the off-highway vehicle park, ride a four-wheeler, ride a dirt bike, stay on the Jordan River Trail, come play soccer. You can stay on the trail and go golf at Rose Park Golf, which when we talk about mentors and uh, what, what recreation creates, you can think about Tony Finau, who is a West Side, uh, grew up on the West Side, and he brought home a PGA tournament uh, cup for the first time in 25 years and he grew up playing on the Rose Park golf course. So this is where, we're, where we create opportunities for people to, to succeed and we don't know where it's going to lead. The people who are playing soccer here, soccer here today might not be a, a, go to the MLS but these are kids who are going to contribute to community, to county, to city, to the state and that's what recreation is all about is creating unity and opportunities. So you can, you can golf the, at the Rose Park Golf Course. You can go read a book at the Day Riverside Library. You can stay on the Jordan River Park on the trail and go play uh, baseball or stay at the Day Riverside Library. Stay on that trail and you end up at the state fairgrounds. Nowhere else in the city do you have that type of recreation but here in Salt Lake City in District 1. So I'm grateful for those who were before me who saw the vision, saw what opportunities we can create for kids, youth, as well as adults to mentor and bring that type of unity to Salt Lake City. So on behalf of District 1, welcome to Salt Lake City here at the Regional Athletic Complex. And, and I was told uh, that I'm not the most important person here, but we have uh, Mayor Ben McAdams, and that's not who I was going to introduce, but Leo the Lion.